Do you love Dior Sauvage, one of the classic fragrances of all time for men? I'm gonna give you five good alternatives if you wanna try something else. So stay tuned to find out what they are. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And today I'm doing another uh, video in the series of if you like or love a certain fragrance, here are some alternatives. I've done Blue de Chanel, I've done Spice Bomb, I've done uh, Creed Aventus, and now I'm doing one of the most popular fragrances, right? Uh, designer fragrances of all time. Of course, that would be Dior Sauvage. I could get the light there, okay, so you can see it a little bit better. I, you know, not like I need to show the bottle. Probably almost everyone out there watching this video has it in their collection. Uh, I've had it in my collection at one time. I no longer do. It's not one of my favorites just because it's, I tend to, you know, kind of shy away from popular fragrances. But having said that, it's, you know, legendary. It's still, if not the most popular or most searched fragrance out there for men. People love it. It's fresh. It's versatile. I understand why people love it, but I wanna give you some alternatives, and these are gonna be mostly niche, uh, but actually, yeah, yeah these are gonna be mostly niche alternatives, because I like people trying to step up their game. So let's get right into this. This could be arguably niche or not, and this is, of course, always controversial in the fragrance community. This is Date for Men, Date for Men from Jeremy Fragrance, Fragrance One. Of course, for those of you who own this fragrance, I mean, it's like a mashup of all the really popular fragrances, Sauvage, um, Bleu de Chanel, uh, Aqua de Gio. If you really like any of those kind of fresh marine, citrusy, spicy type fragrances, Dior Sauvage, this one is, you know, try it out. If you haven't tried it out, it's a good fragrance, okay? For all the haters out there, it actually, again, if you're trying to get that designer smell, this nails it, and it's great projection, great longevity. My problem has always been on the price. I don't know what it is now. It's always kind of changing, but you know he runs a lot of um, buy, you know, buy one get one free discounts or half off, or you know. So my my advice is wait till he runs another kind of discount on. Sorry, my phone's ringing off the hook today. So all right, next I would go. And this one's a little bit kind of out there for some of you. This is going to be Philosikos, okay, from the French House Diptyque. Um, boy, do I love this one. This is considered maybe one of the great fig fragrances of all time. And if, you know, fig, you're thinking fig, why is this related to Dior Sauvage? The reason why I say it is because I pulled out certain notes that are in Sauvage that are in these fragrances that I think would be good to expand on. And if you like those notes, these have those notes. So for example, Philosicos in the dry down really goes into a nice woody cedar fragrance, but it gives a very fresh, light, effervescent fig green note at the top. So what I like about this is it kind of gives you something different at the top and it dries down to this really nice warm cedar fragrance. It's also an eau de toilette okay, like the original Dior Sauvage is. So again, very similar there. Try it out if you haven't tried it. Next, I'm gonna go with the new Fragrance House. I've talked about this a little bit lately. This is a Fragrance House called, I don't know if you can see it there. I don't think it's zooming in, unfortunately. Well, anyways, <laughs> you can't really see it. This is pre-production perfumery. And uh, I don't know if you can see it there a little bit better. There you go, a little bit better. Pre-production perfumery. And they have about 40 different fragrances. They haven't even officially launched yet. They're still in beta mode, but you can get a super big discount, 40% off right now. Um, I'll put the code down below. Let me see here, just to tell you guys what it is, um, because I forgot. It is, um, boy. I have to write it down because I didn't write it down before. Anyways, I will put it down. It's like code, oh, it's Joe40, J-O-E, the number 40. I'll put it in the link below too. If you do want to purchase something, you can order samples from them too. This is one of their fragrances that just came out. It's called DVI or DV1, depending how you look at it. 
And this is a fragrance, again, has a very nice cedar note. I'm actually kind of wearing this right now. I really like it, but it's really clean and spicy on the top. And it's got like a smoke accord, which is really neat, but it's not overly smoky, but I really am enjoying this one. I'm enjoying this house and exploring it. And Jason, I gotta thank you. One of my subscribers turned me on to this house and boy, it is a fantastic house. And their fragrances are about $75 retail for either 30 or 40 milliliter bottles. But again, you get that 40% discount now uh, if you buy before they do their official launch. So try that one out. Again, if you like Dior Sauvage. Next, let's go to one of my favorite personal fragrances. This is Andrea Mack, and this is the fragrance Craft. And again, you can see kind of the theme here. I'm going with that cedar theme, which is one of my favorite notes. And cedar is one of the big main notes in the Dry Down or Dior, Dior Sauvage, and it is here in Craft. This has also got a beautiful patchouli dry down, but also at the top it's got Elemi, which is a flower I really enjoy, and it's, Elemi is one of the main components in Dior Sauvage. So I think this is a really good choice for you out there that wanna try something different um, and smells beautiful on the skin. I call it a skin scent because it's not, not the fact that it, it stays close and nobody can smell it, it's that it actually reminds me of the smell of skin, like fresh, clean skin out of the shower, which I, I really enjoy that smell. And lastly, gonna go with one of the classics of all time. This is Eight and Bob, the original. Eight and Bob, the original. You can see I'm getting kind of low here. I'm gonna have to restock this soon. But again, classic, fresh. I call this the gateway drug to designer, I'm sorry, the gateway drug to niche fragrances. It is like, you know, when you're just kind of stepping into the game and you're not sure and you want something fresh and a little bit more kind of a link to the designer world, I think this is a great choice for you. Again, it opens with bergamot, which Dior Sauvage does. And then it's also got in there labdomen, cedar, and patchouli. So a lot of the similar notes into the, the heart and the dry down that you're gonna recognize from, from uh, Dior Sauvage and you may therefore like in these this fragrance. So there you have it, my five fragrances to try. If you love Dior Sauvage and you're looking to expand your mind and get into the niche world and try different fragrances. I hope you found it useful because that's what my videos are here to do. I'm trying to make them, the content is something that is useful for you, not for me, but useful for you guys watching. Um, if you haven't already signed up for Scent Explore 2021, click on the link below. Only short time left of that early bird discount. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, subscribe to my channel because I appreciate all the support. And I'll be back soon with another video, guys. Thanks, peace, and love.